Hello. In this video, I want to show how you might estimate and interpret the output for a latent class model using Stata. I will first describe the rationale for the model and the variables included. In this example, I'm working with a latent class model. These models are suitable when seeking to estimate a latent variable model where the manifest or observed indicator variables are categorical and when the analyst chooses to treat the latent variable as categorical also. In other latent variable models, you might instead wish to treat the latent variable as continuous and there are other latent variable models which do this. In this model, there are five manifest or observed variables relating to outcomes in school subjects. These are based on five subject groupings, English, mathematics, science, humanities, and other subjects. Each variable is coded as a binary, binary variable one or zero, where one indicates a pass at grades A star to C and zero otherwise based on general certificate of secondary education qualifications taken by school pupils in 1992. The model estimated using the Stata GSEM command is based on a logistic regression model framework. The first part of the code specifies the five manifest variables, the binary GCSE subject outcomes. The L class option then specifies how many classes are to be estimated. This is up to the analyst. In this example, there are four latent classes to be estimated. As the log odds scale can be a little difficult to interpret, Stata provides further commands to re-express the model parameters as probabilities. To look at the latent class probabilities or prior probabilities, we run the estat lc prob command. We can see that four latent classes have been estimated. The margin column reports the probability that a randomly selected individual belongs to the latent class. We can see the probabilities of class membership are 0.23 or as a percentage 23% for class one, 0.22 or 22% for class two, 0.01 or 10% for class 3, 0.46 or 46% for class 4. Now let's look at the conditional probabilities for the manifest or observed variables. We do this using the estat lc mean command. These are the probabilities of gaining an A star to C pass in each of the GCSE subjects given membership of a particular latent class. I have re-expressed these probabilities as percentages. Class one is characterized by the lowest levels of overall attainment, i.e. the probability of gaining an A star C in GCSE English is 16%, 5% in GCSE Maths, 5% in GCSE Science, and so on. Class two have higher levels of attainment in GCSE Eng English. Probability of an A star to C is 81%. Or GCSE other subjects, 70%, but much lower probabilities in gaining an A star to C pass in GCSE Maths, 31%, or GCSE Science, 14%. Class three demonstrates an inverse pattern to the conditional probability reported by members of class two. Members of class three have higher probabilities of gaining an A star to C in GCSE Maths, 55%, or GCSE Science, 76%, but lower probabilities of gaining an A star to C in GCSE English, 48%, or GCSE Other Subjects, 61%. Class four has the highest levels of attainment with the probability of gaining A star to C passes in each of the five GCSE subject groups being greater than 90%. If you want to calculate overall goodness of fit, you can also use the estat lcgof command. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful when interpreting latent class model output using Stata.